Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Stitching with Sue and also stamping with Sue. So I know those of you that um, follow me may not know, or maybe you do, not only do I do, I do <laughs> machine embroidery, I also do rubber stamping. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. And if you're brand new here, then welcome. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. And right next to that, there's a little bell. If you click on the notification bell, you may choose all videos. Then you would be definitely um, been, be aware of when I upload new videos. Now, a few of you had said that you weren't receiving the notifications. And sometimes that happens with YouTube. So all you have to do is click unsubscribe and click subscribe again and then go ahead and make sure that that notification bell is chosen for all videos and if you're a returning subscriber that little spiel was pretty much for you so i planned on doing this this weekend today is monday january 23rd 2023 but i did not have a good weekend um i uh i don't know what happened saturday but I planned on Sunday and I ended up just being off kilter, a little bit dizzy, a little bit lightheaded, and I was afraid to do anything, a little slight headache. So I don't know what's all going on. I have two more radiation treatments, uh, one today and one tomorrow, and I'm done with that. And that will also stop the chemotherapy drugs. So if you don't know, I have a um, disease called glioblastoma, which there is no cure but there is ways to extend your life. So I am working on those right now in the hopes that in that time frame, a cure may come up. I mean, miracles happen every day, continued prayers. Thank you so much, everyone who's already sent me cards and their prayers and their thoughts. And also those of you that have sent me a little bit of extra spending money that I can use either on my channel or to um, purchase new products and things like that. Cause I definitely want to continue doing videos. It just depends on how I'm feeling. So anyhow, after all of that, we are here to go through the paper pumpkin by Stampin' Up. And this is the January 2023. It's called Key to My Heart. And um, I want to do the unboxing. You may have already seen unboxings, but I have something special with my unboxing. I have something to announce at the end. So definitely like, comment, subscribe, share, because there's going to be something that's going to be given away. Just saying. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the um, paper pumpkin box. All I did was just slice this to take out my um, name and my mailing address. So I have not opened it yet. So if you do not know what paper pumpkin is, maybe you're a sewer, an embroiderer, and you don't, you aren't really sure. And I have these little posties here, so I know where to to stay in the um, camera. Let me just make sure that I am. Yes, pretty good. Um, Paper Pumpkin is a monthly subscription box. And I know there's so many subscription box out there, but this involves paper crafts. And everything you need is in here, except maybe um, if you have, you know, a special glue, a special adhesive you like to use, or um, and or uh, scissors. You will need paper snips and maybe a bone folder. So that could be something that you can place in order or get going on Paper Pumpkin, which is our celebration January and February. And by signing up for three, six or 12 month subscriptions, you can earn a free item. So definitely go to my online store, stampinsuecreates.stampinup.net and check all of that out. Click on Paper Pumpkin. Once you're a subscriber, you can go back and purchase previous kits. But the only way you can get these kits is by being a subscriber. So you'll want to join the fun. Give it a try. If you find out after a couple months, you know, you could do month by month where it's, you know, you're charged month by month. Or you can take the opportunity of getting some free product by doing the 3, 6, or 12 month where you pay in advance and you're done for the year and get some freebies with that. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so once I get all of this out, let me get all of this out. And then, um, now the paper pumpkin boxes are really nice. You can turn them uh, inside out and use them to store products. You can store your little stamping spots. 
you can store lots of fun things. You decorate them how you desire. Okay, so it's like a gift every month and it comes in wrapping paper. So tissue paper is, is perfect. I save all the tissue paper and I use it for, um, for other uh, projects and that. Okay, so every month you will get one or maybe two or something in surprise, but most likely a stamp and spot every month. It does not, um, you do not get the same one within one year. So this is our fresh freesia. And this is one of the in colors. We have five in colors that come in every year. They're available for two years. And then the older one gets booted out and a new color group comes in. So this is part of the color group that will be leaving us. So if you don't yet have this ink color, and this is a little ink spot, okay? I don't usually open them up because of the fact that I, I've been saving them. So it's going to be time to start giving them away. And I'm all about giving things away. So um, if you don't have any ink, here it is. And every month you will get a stamp set. And this one is, what did I say the name of this one was? Um, key to my heart and it is the January 2022. Go ahead and make yourself a label. Stick it on here, then you'll know. Keep it in um, a little uh, envelope or something with um, all the components that you may not use because there's always more than enough. Or you can go ahead and put the instruction pamphlet in there. Keep things organized because when we know when new stuff comes in, we forget about the old. So this one has um, a little heart locket and a key it has some hearts and this is of course toward valentine's day but you can use it for others um here's a little keyhole to my valentine i love you you hold the key to my heart and love is the key and it has um this would be like a little keyhole that you can go ahead and stamp the little image inside there and did i say key well, these are all the items in there. Now let's take a look at the rest. Oh, before we do, um, this um, set, if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, there is heart boxes. It's an add-on kit where the cute little boxes, you can put little goodies in. Here's a QR code that you can go ahead to scan it to purchase heart-shaped treat boxes, or go ahead onto my online store and you can shop there so you can, take this kit and make all kind of treat boxes and also this is upcoming so right now we are in this um time frame for the sunshine and smiles paper pumpkin kit and that coordinates with the um what is it called uh, let me get my flyer. I do have a flyer here that I printed off. So this one is called Jump for Joy and it is only available through February 10th. So you'll have to definitely sign up for this right now. You only have till the 10th of February and it says brighten someone's day with a card from this kit and it's called Jump for Joy. Get everything you need to make unique and radiant cards and this month's kit includes nine cards, three of three designs with special three peek through windows, nine coordinating envelopes, one mango melody stampin' spot, and a photopolymer stamp set. And you can take this to the next level with the coordinating suite of products um, called Rain or Shine. Definitely check that out online. And this has an add-on too. This is their first ever die add-on add on and it comes with two different dies. One cuts out this cute little frog and the other one cuts out the flowers. But look at the cute little um, projects here. Aren't they adorable? Now this die set is only $6 and you can order it now. And the item number is 162486. So it's $6, you get two dies that will coordinate with the kit. I have mine ordered and my order is supposed to come today. So if I'm feeling okay later, I would like to do an unboxing of that order and these dies should be in there so you'll be able to see them. So first ever, and uh, what Stampin' Up! is great about is as demonstrators or as a customer, you can send in requests to them. So if you like the dies add-on, which I do, um, I'm definitely going to yell out to them and say, we want more, we want more, we want more. I won't bang, but you know, 
Okay, so here is the kit. I know, finally. Um, if you don't like the little chit chat, which I mean, a lot of people don't. Oops, I just turned my light out. Um, you may want to go ahead and fast forward. But um, I do like to chit chat. I do not edit my videos. So FYI, any video you see, no matter what I'm doing, you see what happens. It's the good and the bad. So here it is, the instructions. Now there are three different cards you can create, but I plan on doing some alternative projects. I don't need, um, what? how many did they say there was? Three, six, nine, I think. Nine cards. I don't need nine Valentine cards. I need thinking of you and things like that. Maybe an anniversary card you can use this for. Use it for a birthday. Use it for a sympathy. I mean, you can change this all you want. Inside here are step-by-step -step photo colored, uh, color coded photos. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the words don't work. Along here, you have a ruler. So it takes you step-by-step -step for each single card to show you how to do it. On the back, it shows you all of your contents. It tells you coordinating colors. So for this month, it's Calypso Coral, Fresh Freesia, Mango Melody, and Petal Pink. And over here, we have some alternative ideas so that you can do other things than what's um, planned with this kit. And you can also go to paperpumpkinhowto.com even if you aren't, I believe you don't even have to be a subscriber, but you can go and check out what everyone else is doing with these kits. So we are also on Pinterest, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and YouTube. And there is a YouTube video step-by-step -step how to put this together. So there's a piece of chipboard and I like to use this when I'm doing my stamping. So I use that to protect my table. Up to you. These are glue dots that you can use to put your kit together. And let me flip this over. So these are Stampin' Dimensionals that are self-adhesive that you can use them to um, give your card a little dimension if you choose. We have some twine here and I would think the twine is Calypso Coral. It comes in this cute little bag. And does this bag have a hole in it? It doesn't, so you know what? Save this bag because I have something fun that I'm gonna be doing with the bag. We like to save everything in our kit because you just never know, right? So here are our envelopes. Let me fix them for you. Some are going different ways. Okay, so it looks like they're all the same. The great thing about the envelopes, if you want to extend your kit and get more out of it, they are fully, nope, all the way down to the bottom it is. Not fully, I take that back. Nope, just, so this is a piece of designer series paper, so it's a piece of scrapbook paper. So we all have envelopes. Cut these up and coordinate those into your additional cards that you choose. And here are our card bases. And um, I also love this because you can cut this down the center and make two cards out of this. So this first one looks, it has a keyhole. This punches out very easily. And when you see this, I don't know, I'm seeing some things. Are you seeing some things too? Let's turn it upside down. Are you seeing anything with that? That's where the alternative projects come in. So definitely subscribe and click the button for notifications because you're not gonna wanna miss what I come up with this. So here we have this style. So we have three of those. Oh, and here's the other thing. Here's the inside, so let's, they're pre-scored. Look at the inside, it has a wash on it. So you can even cut this and use this side if you choose. The opportunities, I mean, once I start looking at this and I'd be like, ooh, I can do this with it, I can do that. So here's another card and it has gold um, a hash, kind of like a, I don't know, it reminds me of like streets in New York. Um, you know, lines on it, they're gold embossed. The inside is white. And oh, here we have some vellum shapes that very easily punch out. We have um, some banners and circles. And then we have another one in, um, I believe this one is petal pink. And the other one was fresh freesia, white on the inside. Then we have some fun punch outs. And we have one, 
two, three. We have three of these. These very easily punch right out. And look, I did three at a time. And you see this outline? You can cut this around here and you could have, oh, the possibilities. And these little um, keyholes, you could punch that inside out. And look at that. What are you seeing with that? I'm seeing something with that. I'm definitely seeing, hold on, hold the phone with this color. And where is that one I punched out? Okay, look at this. Now this could be very large. Now I'm thinking you can cut it down a little bit and use your uh, markers and color the top in, but I'm seeing a head and a neck and oh, I'm excited. You see, are you seeing that too? You seeing the head with this could be the mouth or it could just be a big mouth yelling happy Valentine's day. But um, the possibilities are endless, I'll tell you. And um, these insides are gold. This heart is also gold and we have some keys and these punch out very easily. And look, here's even a little, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's bring this back. Here's our little mouth. I only need one. So you can play around with this and make this whatever you want it to be. Here's our little mouth. And again, I probably would cut that down. Here's these little, these could be the eyeballs. Oh my goodness, check your punches. Um, you could very easily make some hair. Okay, well you get the gist of that. Look at that. Ugh. Okay, let's move on. Um, so here we have some banners very easily punch out to stamp on. We have three different types. And here's this one, a long one. So we have that. And then we have this sheet with these big long pieces of fresh freesia. And the back is white. So if you wanna even color the back with um, your stamping blends, you wanna stamp on here, you wanna use your, um, your daubers or your sponges or your brushes to add color, you can make that any color you want. So I think this is a great, great month's kit and I know we may not all need, you know, Valentine's, but, you know, cut these up, you know, do different ideas. It's a fun, fun kit. You have your ink spot, you have your stamp set, and let's not forget our tissue paper, right? So save that. But lots of fun projects you can do with this kit. Definitely check it out. Go to my online store. Again, stampinsucreates.stampinup.net and check it out, Paper Pumpkin. So are you ready now? Have you been sitting on the edge of your seat waiting to say, oh, what is she talking about in the beginning? Well, I have a gift for you. I'm gonna put my finger over here. So those of you that are watching and stay till the end, I have a free month of Paper Pumpkin for you. So I have a gift, Creativity in a Box, and uh, there will be a redemption code. I will mail this to you and you can turn this in for one month paper pumpkin of your choice. So if you were liking the sunshine and smiles, I'm gonna make this a very, very short turnaround because if you want this kit, you have to order it by the 10th. So you'll need this paper by the 10th. So today's the 23rd. So uh, I don't have a calendar in front of me. Um, let's go to uh, January 25th, 2023. So we have uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday by midnight. So January 25th, so by Wednesday, so I can get this out in the mail to you by Thursday, to mail out by Thursday morning. Um, all you have to do is be a subscriber. You have to be in the United States because Paper Pumpkin is only in the US and Canada and we can't cross borders. We're only the US. You have to be 18 years of older. So a subscriber, in the US, 18 or over. If you're already a pumpkin, paper pumpkin subscriber, you can go ahead and enter the free kit as well. Um, and all you have to do is just leave a comment down below. Leave a comment about uh, what you think of paper pumpkin, or if you're brand new, what you think you would think of paper pumpkin. So you have until Wednesday at midnight, the 25th of January, 2023, to enter the free drawing 
of the, um, I'm just going to fold this over uh, because this already has the redemption code on here of a free paper pumpkin kit. So it's up to you. You know, you have to be a subscriber. You have to comment. You have to, uh, if you want to share, you can go ahead and share this video, but just make sure you have your entry in by Wednesday, January 25th, 2023. And I will be doing a video to uh, announce the winner on Thursday morning so that I can get this to you ASAP. So you will have to contact me. I will give all that information later on. And um, until then, if you're a subscriber, enjoy your paper pumpkin kit. And maybe if you're not, you'll also be entered to win. Well, you won't be also, you will be entered to win if you do all the requirements to win a free month of paper pumpkin. So Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you everyone for the continued thoughts, prayers, and support that you have all been giving me. I really, really do appreciate it. So till next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and happy stamping. Bye for now.